January 25th, 1990, when Avianca Flight 52 leaves Medellin, Colombia, just after 3 p.m., the tanks have more than enough fuel for the 2,100-mile trip to New York. They had approximately 81,000 pounds of jet fuel on the airplane when they departed. They had done the calculations for the flight plan, the amount of fuel they would burn going to New York, a reserve, some holding fuel, and then also enough fuel to go to Boston and land. With more than enough fuel, that shouldn't be a problem, but it soon becomes one. In New York, the weather was bad, so as they came up the East Coast, they began to be issued holding instructions, and they held for three different times. The delays total 77 minutes. Around 8.20 p.m., they have only a little more than 14,000 pounds of fuel left, enough for another hour or so in the air. At 9.22 p.m., Avianca Flight 52 is finally cleared to land, but with an extremely low cloud ceiling above JFK and strong wind shear, the pilot misses the attempt. The plane is again diverted from the airport. Nowhere did the first officer ever use the word emergency. If that word had been used, they would have given them immediate priority to try to get them on the ground. Avianca 52, climb maintain 3,000. At 9.34 p.m., Flight 52 runs out of fuel. The engines flame out. 